Nemesis vs. Artemis. First pick Mongols, Scribos team confirmed. <laughs> but then we have Slabs, Franks, and Tatars. Tatars being one of Popeye Pete's favorites, but uh, we've sort of disclosed him as uh, potentially as uh, a player in the previous set. Ethiopians, Byzantines, Huns, Gurjaras. I don't have their maps handy, hold on. Uh, Bay and Slopes are the maps. Bay, that's uh, definitely a Mongols map. Where Byzantines would be a good contender, I guess. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Cavalry heavy, Archer heavy. Picks, let's just hop into it. Slabs Huns for the first one. Besides Mayans, Nemesis could actually could be totally a knockout pick. You know there's the uh, mind games of uh, not picking your common sims as well, you know, so maybe Akkal picked Mayans just to throw people off guard and force them to snipe it. I mean, you could in theory pick Mayans just so or any Ziv, pick a Ziv just so your opponent will snipe it because you think that they really don't want to be up against it and they realistically won't because it would never be picked. Good luck, have fun in the in game chat. That's uh, funnily enough, also, I think that of course many players do. Many players do. But Papaya Pit never forgets to do it. So, and there's no response, that's rude. Rude. Where's the GLHF back, and why are we pushing deer this early? Maybe it isn't just because they're close, or just because we can, because there's hunts. Seems like a waste of good scouting time, though. Not scouting with cheap, I was scouting with this one. Uh, so Nemesis with the slabs here. Slabs? That is definitely a an Umut Dennis pick for Arabia. Who would play slabs in Arabia only one? It is one of Dennis's favorites, used to be at least. The other guy wrote it low. Good point, Old Golder. Good point. Shouldn't have used anyone of being rude for something that we can't realistically see. Not many players would sacrifice so much scouting with that bad sheep micro. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, scouts fight. A little bit of a mess underneath this here. Oh, idle woman. Get to work. And. Uh, And one, uh, three, three HP more for the Hunts scout here, of course. Artemis trying to keep it uh, alive here. There uh, has to be uh, a sign that there could be scouts incoming. Hello, yo, yo, dude. Yeah, short, short casting session this evening. I'll be mixing it up with this cup and other content the upcoming week. It's my ambition, anyway. This is the second set of the United Nations Hidden Cup 2, round of 16. So the names are Hidden Identities. Now Calder is uh, happy that we didn't see BM laning just yet. yet. Is stream low res? What do you mean? Uh, you should be able to customize it actually. It's uh, 10 1080p for me. So uh, sometimes we get transcoding as affiliates as well. It depends. But you can uh, adjust it with the deal icon. Get a feeling that blue could be Lonzo. 
Ah, Lonzo Wall wouldn't pick slabs for Arabia Wall Wall. He just wouldn't. Yellow. Yellow could be Lonzo. Uh, wouldn't think of him as a Hunts player. But I wouldn't rule it out either. Not well, a scouts fight, but few late on the way for Artemis again. Not wanting to risk losing scouts HP. It looks like a scouts opening to be 19 pop scouts. Yeah, phone defaults to 360 sometimes. Yo yo, dude. Uh, actually, I think it depends on internet connection speed and or uh, mobile well, uh, data speed for that matter. One second idle TC for Artemis. A clean dark age. I would uh, definitely attribute that to a player like Lonzo Wall as well. If you're going to go down that line, as just for fun suggests, one second, very respectable. 11 seconds for Nemesis. Not too un uncommon for Dennis again. And we have the Militia moving out. Two Militia. Two Militia Drush. Uh, which uh, actually, um, just like the uh, King of the Desert Arabia, it might be successful for, for uh, this version of Arabia as well, the Hidden Cup Arabia. But uh, yeah, it's a super late rush, which is kind of a Dennis thing. Maybe it's all cold and they're picking slabs to impersonate Dennis. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, should be a villager kill. Are we committing here? Okay, nice block. Nice scout, white crow. Gate player. Yes. And now a stable. First, the militia. Now a stable. This this is uh, someone who has uh, studied then this is playstyle, I think. <laughs> rush into well then this would make more militia actually. Then this would continue to rush with a uh, uh, yeah, rush into Drush and then maybe Scouts, but now Spearman defense against the incoming Scouts. And Yellow seems confused as to where to go. Uh, there's definitely a possibility to get around here. Why would they build a stable that usually people use as a part of the wall? Yeah, I mean, that gate could have been the stable, for example, as well. Uh, it's a bit far out to go here, maybe. Is it that spear over commitment? I don't think so. It's only two spearmen. The TC time is low as well. Artemis now at... Uh, still at one second, but uh, taking the hill advantage of the scouts. A good scouts micro from Artemis. Artemis. <laughs> and then we get TG who did we conclude that played on our playing? Well, we uh, concluded that you might be Hades, Papaya Pete, and uh, it would seem that the winner also had a German Age of Empires 2 language set, so has to be one of the German players, maybe. Or someone switching to German in game language for the. of it. Why will I be hate this? Because of the VGG uh, chat. That's why. Labs for me extending here. I'm also going to gold here. What is this? What's Nemesis up to here? player
Did I? <laughs> well, hey, this is clearly Papaya pretending to be Grace of us. Nice. Will the beast is. Uh, I don't know Will the beast is play a playing style either, but I think he is. Uh, walling and booming style. Kinda. Would play it safe at least. But also not bound to meta. Like, I mean, that's all going triple stable. Kelts Knights, right? So. Oh, the trap! Oh, the trap, but the pathing block for the scouts there. Nice gate from Nemesis. Still, very low wide at this time here, so these players could be 1500 plus. Spearman doing their thing, but uh, now one will be killed by. Hold on, Nemesis? Okay, that was uh, the opening rush, I guess, that uh, got that one builder. What eel is this? We don't know, Yo Yo, dude, because it's the hidden cup. It's hidden seating. It's. Um, 16 players playing uh, under Elias's. They don't know who they're up against, and it's random seeding. So it's uh, lowest player, 1300s, highest player, almost 1900. Now you're insulting me, Papa Bit. Nah, but you, 1100 could be. I mean, on paper, it's all corner rating. In effect, it's not necessarily so. Maybe these days, because all corner hasn't been playing much, but. So that would affect all of our ratings, but uh, it's true. The Elo span in practice is 1100 to 1900. The eco management behind this, though, the cast age transition. We're going to reach the cast age at just around the 21 minutes mark. And uh, so the transition is really on point for both with the economy management behind this. Looks like there's going to be a cavalry archer follow up from the hunts. The rangers are up. Someone has forgotten about the villager over here, but the scouts have been idling Nemesis economy quite a bit as well. So Nemesis is going into the cast age with a weakened economy, though only having lost one villager, is, with, with villager which is a sign of uh, good defense and ad adaptation as well. That, that. Stable positioning is sus though, and the double ranges is as well. Nemesis with the double range Slavic Archers. And I agree with Papai Pit, I think we're looking at 1500-ish uh, players here, 1450 plus. Somewhere between... Uh, uh, yeah. Fourteen fifty and fifteen hundred. Still, less than one minute idle his time. The blacksmith completes just now. That's going to mean we have crossbows without even fletching. That's funny. Uh, fletching comes now, but uh, Artemis with the hunts has a few crossbows as well. Did use some archers while aging up while uh, preparing that cow archer transition. Cow archer. That is uh, funnily enough. That would be a. Uh, I mean, it would be a Dennis move, but he would be making more than just these few units and would be having more idle tease time at this point. It could be Papai Pit opening scouts into Cab Archers here. Because he loves his Cab Archers play. However, Tatars has not been drafted by Artemis here, so. I'm not sold on Papaya, sold on Papaya, Papaya bit. Scrambling up a TC here for Nemesis, does get it up, will... Oh, fails to garrison in time. That's gonna cost uh, cost a bit of life, possibly. Okay, it looks like we're fine. Uh, it's not the most efficient TC ever, but I guess it's going to be uh, okay enough. Uh, for the short term, and it also provides a point of refuge against... What uh, Lungust at this at this point be assuming it's cab archers. Didn't scout the ranges yet, but uh, sees the gold investment. Could be a takeaway.
Rock Park, really, it's kind of cheap though, uh, all corner. All things considered, and then the same upgrades will apply to to your cavalry archers. But uh, uh, Artemis probably expected to get more value out of it. Cow Archers forced to be played defensively now for the time being. No defense. Skirmisher, Knight, Spearman. A little bit of an AR army going on here for Nemesis and the Slabs. That's a Dennis giveaway. Dennis' favorite Civ, possibly. I don't know a lot of players that would play Slabs in all seriousness on one of the Arabia. They're just not quite there. Triple TCs for Nemesis Stabs, they do have a great boom. This could be a, a game that will eventually transition into Imperial Age, actually. Not, not anytime soon, obviously. They're both spending their resources very consistently. And uh, Nemesis with the multiple TCs investment earlier on and consistent villager production is uh, coming out ahead eco-wise here. We'll, of course, have to endure the increasing number of cheap Hanik cow watchers. But uh, so far it seems to be doing uh, all right enough. So, camera just forward, rest uh, cleaning up the mess at home, oh, looking for a point of entry here. Elite Scourge now for Nemesis. Uh, basically a necessity at this point to hold off the Cow Watchers and maybe pre prevent them from reaching critical mass. Nemesis with the University and uh, I guess that's going to be for Ballistics for the Skirmishers then, is it? I don't see any other use here. It comes the first Defense upgrade, potentially going to see the second one as well for the Elite Skirmishers. Cow Watchers and counting ballistics coming in for the Hunts player as well. Artemis seems to be on top of things now. Two TCs for the Hunts that could provide for a faster Imperial Age transition as well into the Heavy Cow Watchers, maybe, or more importantly, Bracer, maybe. Just for fun, says that Yellow should do forward siege. Yeah, maybe we need to punish the eco quite a bit more here. That's true. And I believe Artemis eventually will need to go into a uh, complementary unit as well, like Knights or Lights Cab here to um, to um, deal with the skirmishers. Does deny a Town Center Foundation at least for now. And here's the forward seat. <laughs> That's a ugly forward seat workshop to the side over here. It's it's hidden, I'll give him that. It's a bit of a weird placement. I mean, you'll be pathing right into the trees from all directions here with the siege weapon. Weapons, so it doesn't seem ideal. Artemis actually uses the Hans Cowboys to focus down skirmishers here. Only nine elite skirms total for Nemesis here. Just a one Manganel or a couple of scorpions could uh, be very helpful in that regard. One stray knight just popping around in uh, Artemis' base, not really posing a threat. And finally we're going to complete that easy as well, that's going to take that woman quite a while though. 
Forward seed Grunkok, not so hidden as Artemis would have wanted to. The Mangonel is. Wait, that's a wrap, not the Mangonel. Mangonel now in queue. The, sh <laughs> the flag, though, Nemesis can not, can't know that uh, whether this is a Mangonel or a uh, or, uh, Ram inside of here. And uh, the low ILT time of the Huns is impressive indeed, but it's also easier with the Huns, considering that you don't need to uh, uh, worry about getting housed. So. Uh, Let's give Artemis some stack here. Oh, a forward castle! Right on the main gold spot here. Uh, Blue, did he scout the back gold here? Did he scout both side golds as a good player would do? Wait, that's a neutral one actually. Wait, where's the third? That's a three tile gold. That, that's a four tile. Or, oh, there, there it is. That, that's something uh, something you would say about uh, your own set, isn't it, Dello? <laughs> Nemesis with uh, four TCs, but also significantly higher idle TC time here. A full on mix of uh, Siege and Cab Archers and a few Knights here from Artemis. Artemis really piling on the pressure now, putting on the pressure now. The pressure is piling on, on Nemesis, whose move needs to be contested here. Actually, a fairly healthy economy here. Almost looks like Nemesis is partially idling for Imp here. Now the big main gold is off limits though with the forward castle. We might even see some Tarkins joining the party here now in, in not too long, depending on what uh, unit composition Nemesis goes for, of course. But with this kind of pressure, Artemis is keeping the home base safe and sound. Quite the healthy farming economy here as well, and is making the Tarkins. Definitely something Dennis Dennis would do. <laughs> that would be nice this accusation. Slab's gonna have faster imp and castle, yes, but That is a lot of investment on stone as well, and the uh, military is lacking here for Nemesis. I'm not too confident that Nemesis, Nemesis will be able to uh, get that castle up and uh, start uh, taking out the forward castle of Artemis here. Artemis seems to be on top of things, denying the stone as well. Good move there. That uh, certainly... Messes a little bit with that uh, stolen investment of Nemesis, however, ne Nemesis. Going to get that castle up. A safe spot close on, but I think the Nemesis would have needed to buy some stone, right? Strong meta player, you say, but uh, this Cav Archer Micro is a little bit questionable, though. Running right into TC Fire and the Elite Skirmishers and losing some numbers, possibly needlessly here. Imperial Age right around the corner though. Gold becoming a bit of an issue after having this TC idled. But uh, there's always the market to use uh, if you have Wandus. Nemesis actually have one. Yeah, it's here. Market rate's pretty decent. And Imperial Age all the way as well. Getting more Walters! We're going to see more Tarkins here. Full on Tarkins rush. Against the Slabs who... Could probably just make Bowyars against the... Uh, against the uh, Tarkins. Oasis is looking good for Blue, okay. I mean, there hasn't been... Uh, Artemis hasn't been able to claim the eco lead even with all this aggression. He has been wasting some cab archers, so no deadly mass of cab archers either. And Imperial Age is on the way. Fact is, it's pretty darn even between the players, and Artemis has the military momentum while Nemesis is. Uh, uh, is. Uh, Extending that uh, slab's ridiculously strong farming economy here has the trebuchet out as well, while Artemis keeps making uh, keeps making tokens. Does not try to contest the treb here. Uh, 
I guess you could buy the Inventor Tokens and snipe the Prems fairly easily unless it uh, gets gated in or something here though. Uh, the Elite Skirmishers obviously don't pose a threat to the uh, Tarkins. Now goes the barracks. I mean, then technically, if you go into Halberdiers here as the Slavs, that counters both of the uh, army compositions on the field here now. But we see um, cavalry upgrades kicking in here as well. It's through all Tarkins. But the forward castle will be going down, I think. A second trap now out for Nemesis. Uh, and uh, Artemis' push uh, seems one sided here. It's been mean mainly around the main gold here. And it's not going to be enough, even with the side golds uh, slowly depleting here. Tarkins against Skirmishers could be a good one for the Tarkins. And um, Cavalier, probably enough, seems to be working. The plate barring armor isn't in, though, so that hurts a little bit. But these are Castle Age upgraded Cav Archers, Cav Archers until you can get to Bracer and get uh, get some damage in. But uh, now Nemesis is in, the, is in the spot to push back. Eco Balance seems decent, right? 18 on gold now, 40 something on food. Did drop uh, stables earlier on, so we might see some Hussar spam here as well to uh, idle and disrupt Artemis' home economy. Slab guy needed help teach. Yeah, but Slab guy is surviving and pushing back though. Don't understand why he did so many Tarkins. Trying to flex and not succeeding, I would say. Or just making the most expensive meat shield ever in front of your underwhelming massive cab archers. Trying a little too many things at once, maybe. I don't see time picking up now as well, but it doesn't matter. We are at uh, 120 villagers, a uh, full decent boom for, for Artemis. And he likes Tarkins, that's the obvious answer. Best answer to that question. <laughs> Tarkin ETZ. Just noticed that Nemesis guessed me as Artemis. Okay, so this is you then, then, Deno. You're flexing with the uh, Huns on Arabia. Still a bit of a one-sided push for Artemis here, Nemesis is uh, claiming the score lead now, still behind in mil and put to the point of Overboom here. <laughs> but never pick Hans, says Denno. I mean, you are... Playing a little Black Forest, so it would make sense that you would not play him, pick a uh, big hunts. And don't listen to Papa Yapi and Papa Yapi, it's just trolling us. Nemesis at close to pop cap. Uh, Artemis forced to clean up at home with the remaining few armies here, now dropping extra stables. Clay and security side so say Lots of stables out here. Did, did we get Hussar yet? Lightcap is coming in. Hussar not affordable. Artemis' eco is exposed now, and uh, Nemesis has a halberdier in and some scorpions as well. This is transitioning into a uh, strong late game for Slabs here. If Slabs can get here and get to their upgrades as well, maybe we'll even see Drusina here. I don't know why, but I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting 
wildebeest vibes from the Nemesis here for some reason. Artem is still uh, on top with the army numbers, but it's only a matter of time now until Artemis' uh, home base gets reached and pushed by the late game uh, slab. Uh, how the siege death fall? You see the rams here popping out. Still only cap rams, not siege ram just yet, even though it's affordable. But uh, Tarkins, Tarkins and cap archers. That's not really a way to stop the siege ram push, is it? Again, force to pull the armies back here in the nice strategic defensive cast layer from Nemesis on the hill. For, um, providing protection from raids on the left hand side here. Right hand side, TC's on the gold and taking the neutral stone as well, playing for the long game here. Still only Cap Tram, why not Sea Tram? It's, it's affordable. It's affordable. Did we forget that it exists? It's the slabs, do we get Sea Tram, right? So. I guess the food is uh, spent for Hussars instead, which. It's arguably more mobile than the sea tramps. All oh, these small stray units here. Stone walls to the sides. Good way to prevent raids uh, from entering, uh, at least temporarily, for. Um, Artemis here, but there are rams out on the field that will break through and make an opening. Here is blue, literally outposts forward even for some uh, extra vision. And Artemis forced up into a corner here now, which these stone walls not going to last him for long. <laughs> Militia! <laughs> it's uh, the two. It's the. 50, minute 53 2 militia rush Nice <laughs> Still don't understand why the most nomadic civil age 2 can build stone walls Hey Even if you're a nomadic tribe you can access stone you know If you were could do masonry it's a different question. Uh, so Raid's really doing uh, damage here now and Artemis has to tap out Nemesis. Takes the first game. Even though it looked... Uh, even though it looked... Uh, even for uh, quite a good while there. Let's browse through the stats and uh, have a look at the draft again maybe before moving on. But party tactics. Marauders in the late cast age. Did uh, so we did see quite a lot of tokens at uh, some point. A little bit confused to me uh, why that would make sense against the slabs at any point in the game, but solid. Yeah, it's a uh, very good defense from. Uh, Nemesis with the slabs to survive that, get the boom going and uh, and push back, of course. The late game imp options for slabs, it's strong against most civilizations with Drusina and uh, Halbs and Sea Trams and whatnot. Scuba Steve is more like 1700, 1750 even, maybe. I think the hidden thingy plays into his hands as well. Hans losing to the, oh sorry, not Mongols. Uh, to the slabs here. We're left with, what's the whole map again here? Let's have a look. Um, 
Nemesis home map is Bay, and Artemis, Artemis's home map is uh, Slopes. So we're going to see Slopes again, I believe. Slopes could probably be a Mongols map as well. But uh, Tatars with the hills on both sides should be good. Let's find it. We're going to slopes and we have Franks versus Byzantines. Franks versus Byzantines, so I was obviously totally wrong. Franks should have a viable scouts opening on this map, of course. Blue versus yellow, by the way. Artemis sticking with the... Yeah, they're sticking with the same colors. Byzantines there can classify as a defensive civilization. It's uh, going to... They have the all of the counters, basically. They have... Uh, Great trash options and cheaper camels as well. And uh, while uh, lacking uh, core upgrades like uh, bloodlines, for example, you still have all of the responses as Byzantines. You could easily wall yourself in and just uh, just defend it out. What's with players putting seven villagers on sheep? Oh, never mind. It's moving out to the lever camp now. Maybe just forgot about it. Okay. Yeah, that ram, a ram in the pharmacy shop um, uh, workshop. That was weird. I think the base was still open to the sides as well, so it was not to break through buildings or anything. A uh, mangonel or Possibly a couple of scorpions would have made more sense, I think, at that, that point. Uh, yellow was Hans, yes, Artemis was Hans. Six on cheap. Forward. It was only half forward though, uh, by a bit. <laughs> it was like in the middle of the woods between the two players. Oh, excuse me. I got big sleepy here. Late casting session. This is already out checking the sides to see for any mills to the sides. Doesn't look to me like there's a meta to place mills on the sides uh, just for fun. Milling the berries, at least for the yellow player. Uh, Suggesting that Artemis wants to wall off here and play it uh, safe from inside home base with the Byzantines there, a bit of a slow and defensive event. Uh, good recognition by Nemesis as well, realizing that the sides haven't been taken, meaning that Artemis will go for the wall off instead. That should leave uh, Nemesis in the position where uh, they can collect the side resources somewhat uninterruptedly. I never know with the Byzantines, though they could still go for a trash rush that used to be a thing back in the Bublian uh, MSN's old days, but 
For now, we're going to see the 20 pop up here for the Franks. Tiny bit of idle this time for both, they had to... Uh, Nemesis had to react to the starting scout of Artemis so as not to lose a villager. <laughs> it's pretty interesting that by all the four players we've seen on this map is the Frank player that doesn't go for the berries. Conserving them for later, you know. When this gets contested or lost, then you can move back home and collect the quick berries. Why well, are you just standing uh, standing and lurking here? Oh, we have a hangry housewife. In fact, we'll have two. We'll have the Frank's men at arms opening. Who was it that wrote in the in the United Nations Discord that Frank's men at arms into archers is the best opening confirmed? Hmm. So some ambitious walls. Nah, these are these are fine. It's not that far out. Considering the connection between the woodlands. Hoy denies this accusation. Don't listen to Hoy. That's basically confirming. I like that Nemesis moves out to the side, uh, to the side, to keep an eye on the um, resources over here. They're not being taken. You also can't. If this were a couple of patches ago, you would be able to see if the hunt is being slaughtered in the fog of war, but that's been patched, so that's not going to happen. Man at Arms kicks in with uh, good timing there. Going to contest the berries and uh, also these are already idled because of the small walls because just won't be able to drop off food over here so that's one villager getting completely idled here <laughs> in the meantime forward range and power here from artemis not joking around the business here i love that power though it's right on the stone of nemesis but nemesis is stone in the back as well so so it's uh, it's not going to be uh, the case that the uh, nemesis can't collect stone for additional defensive towers if need be. Uh, Artemis is not a gold, so this is going to be uh, a trash rush from forward, but has to react to what's going on at home base as well. Nemesis now. Hitting the berry pickers of Artemis and uh, managing to get one eco kill. No, two. Ooh, Artemis lost a villager to Gaia. GG forgot to go on stone. <laughs> Worst game ever, lol. That's con confusing. GG 11. Okay, so it was going to be in, in, in trash and towers then. Yeah, I'm getting the vibes as well, hoy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. Could be an off day for a good player as well. GG forgot to go to stone. Well, that is a 2-0 for, uh, for Nemesis, moving on to the next round. Seemed to be on point there, reading the map well. 2 minutes idle TC at 30 minutes. For both of them, actually. Uh, in the case of the Byzantines, I think it could be because of the trash unit. And they stopped trying with the first guy said GG. Yeah, also a good point. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, not much of a challenge for the Franks player here, about looks of it. 
fairly uninteresting stats. As this game didn't progress very far. It could be just for fun trolling us as well. Picking Byzantines, trying to go for some crazy off metal powers and trash forward play. It does do stupid things at times as well, just like me. And this would be an occult tower actually. It doesn't really do too much. And a nice stone, yes, but a stone in the back. <laughs> Good man arms opening from Nemesis though with the uh, damage really kicking in here. Because the draft only got two by two very soon as the first picks, yeah. Ethiopians and Byzantines, yeah, could be. We have to take uh, civilizations into account as well. <laughs> yeah, they sitting in the chat throughout the game calling the player 1600 plus. There we go, that's a tell as well. 